my name is Tania and welcome to the life of Tania and welcome to my channel. So basically, um, you're probably wondering what this is on my hip. It's my retwist. I'm going to take it down. But the whole point of this video is I'm taking them down completely. Like, um, I really miss my natural hair. I've barely had them in two weeks. But I miss my hair. And it's hot outside. I don't know if you live in Georgia, but it's hot. I can't take it. So, and a lot of people, I just pull my earring out. A lot of people say that they're cute still. And I mean, they are. But I miss my natural hair. So even right now, when I'm looking at the video, like, they're cute. And I feel bad for taking them out because I did them myself. And it took a long time to do. But I don't know. I just feel like I need to take them out in my hair. But you can moisturize your hair and weave. But I just feel like I'm not completely moisturizing it. But see that cute on the camera or whatever. <sighs> see, I'm conflicted. But I got, I can always do them again. But um, It looks so cute on video though, but I miss my natural hair. Um, uh, well, we're gonna do it. So, basically, what you're gonna need, what I'm gonna need, what you could need if you're doing the same thing, is um, this is always my staple. So, shea butter. I use that all the time. It's what keep my keeps my hair moisturized. Um, I think it's a miracle worker. Shea butter. Then I'm using this leave-in conditioning mist by Cantu. Um, then I might use this cocoa butter moisturizing hair oil just because it smells really good. And also my hair needs to be moisturized. And then this um, detangling brush. These. Are amazing. So I got mine from Marshalls. For really cheap I think. But. It's. Then I have. I might trim my hair. Because I feel like it needs to be trimmed. So. Scissors hair scissors not regular scissors um and then I have some hair ties it's all of my hair ties like on a band so I won't lose them but as you can tell it's a lot it's not a lot on here because clearly I lose them but that's it so let's get into this video so now that I've gotten all my stuff ready I also added having a snack because it's going to take a long time so it's popcorn and then water oh and also if you see me looking down I'm watching a movie on my laptop because it's going to take a long time and that's always what I do so I won't get um I don't know so I won't be bored I guess so I guess let's get started okay so I'm taking my earrings off so it won't get snagged and I'm about to pull my hair to the side so that I can just focus on one at a time and I always start in the front um I'm gonna show up close on one what I'm gonna be doing so we we'll do it on this one so so I'm just gonna start from the end I think I'm gonna reuse this hair for like um, a ponytail or something or even doing twists again so we're undoing it 
see this is also why I want to take it out because it gets so tangled to me like fake natural hair is it tangles more than like my actual natural hair and it feels it doesn't feel rough but it feels kind of I don't know to me it feels really dry because I mean it's not real hair um so I braided it at the root on all of them so it wouldn't get um so frizzy so that's what's taking me so long on that and there we go my edge not my edges but the sides are always so thin to me but I don't know it's not because it's falling out it's just always so fragile <laughs> So I'm undoing the braid. I had it braided up under the um up under the actual twist because I'm not good at gripping. So it made it easier to grip when it was, you know, tighter to the roots. And so I'm gonna get this. The can I need to get my nails done. But the um leave-in conditioner. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit on. Not to make it completely damp, but I mean completely wet, but just a little bit damp. I'm gonna run that through. And then open the Shea Butter. It might, it's hard, but it's really good for you. And get a little bit, Ooh. just drop some. And you put it in your hand and you have to like, warm it up I guess, for it to become smooth and so I'm just putting it on making sure I get the ends which I'm thinking I don't know if I'm gonna trim the ends I don't know I feel like I have a lot of split ends then I'm gonna take this and just spray it on the root and just rub that in to make sure that my scalp is getting moisturized too and just work it in a little bit um, and on my around my edges just you know put some on rub some on around the perimeter of my hair so something oh I think I'm going to trim after I twist it so I can see, like, if it's fierce or um, thin. So I'm going to braid the root on this, too, so it won't be so frizzy. Just about three or four times. Okay. So you can see that it's... I don't know if you can see it, but it's braided at the root. Then I'm just going to twist down. And I'm trying to be gentle because I know, you know. Oh, and by the way, um, I washed my hair in these twists, so... My hair is already clean, um, so I don't know if that's a factor you would want to do or whatever, but that's why I'm going from this straight to just putting my natural hair in a um, protective style. Okay, so I'm getting to the end, so I twist as much as I possibly can, and then when I get to the end, I just get some shea butter and like curl the tips with this you can't really see it because this piece of hair is so thin to me I don't know then I'm gonna see if there's like let me look if the, I think I might just went cross eye but um if it looks kind of straggly then I'll cut a little bit off It took me a while to see it. Um, and then just curve it back. 
to how it was. And then, there we go. It's gonna look a lot better when it's a lot up here. And like when it's laying down, it's pretty. But, and my hair naturally is so much softer, I missed it. So then, I'm just gonna go to the next ones. And I'm probably gonna speed up the rest of it because it's gonna take a long process to do. But I'm gonna do the same thing I did on this. So the rest of my hair. Then I'll be back. <laughs>
I finished like three fourths of my hair. It looks so thin to me when it's a lot of oil, but it'll fluff out later. <sighs> I'm tired. I've watched like two whole movies. The other one just ended, but yeah, let me come closer. It's about, um, yeah, cause I finished some of the, I think I have about, like, I don't know how many I have, but I'm mostly done with the back and then all of this side. It looks so thin, oh my gosh. This is why I like to wash my hair when I have twists to make it like frizzy. Not frizzy, but like fuller. See, look how it look. I don't know. To me, it looks way too thin. But it's probably just the contrast from like thick weave to this but um let's go ahead and finish it Hey guys, so I'm done. It took, feels like forever. Um, maybe about like four hours. Um, this is the finished look. 
just some twists like I said um it took about like four hours forever um but this is it it's the end of the video I want to be doing more YouTube things like you know with natural hair because it's a lot of videos that I be searching for on YouTube but I don't see them so I'm like why not make videos I would want to see um that's pretty much it I mean thanks for watching bye